The Drone Olympics, this is the third year that we have done it. Um, my students have been learning about drones, uh, unmanned aerial vehicles, and the physics of flight. Uh, so today was to kind of celebrate and to show what the students have learned um, over the past several years. eight different Olympic events that all relate to real world applications with how drones are being used and the students competed in each one of those events and they had a great time. It was really fun. I loved competing with all my friends. My favorite part was flying through the gauntlet. I thought the drone looked like fun, like you still learned like how drones are being used in like real life, how they could be used in the future. So the students, um, each event simulated a real world application. Like the one with the, uh, the gauntlet, we talked about um, drones that intercept other drones that are in prohibited airspace. We had another one with the accuracy and precision challenge. So we talked about how Amazon is using Amazon Prime to start delivering packages. They're, you know, they're in the, the process right now of developing those things. Um, we've also talked about other ones with like drones that are delivering life-saving equipment and things like that for people in need. I, I didn't know they had like drone taxis, like, like construction drones. I used to think that drones are just kind of like toys and just kind of play around with them. We have been using drones in my classroom, We've created a whole drone curriculum that the kids have been learning. So today, the Drone Olympics, it kind of simulated them. The students actually kind of made their very own, uh, their drone license. So they did all of the steps that someone would have to to do in order to get an FAA drone license. I loved learning the NATO phonetic alphabet. That was probably one of my favorite things that I learned. And then we learned all the um, terms of the different parts of the drones. You get technology in the hands of kids and their, you know, your attention, their attention span is right there with you. The kids walk in the classroom and they're like, are we flying drones today? What are we doing with technology? So it's completely natural for them. And I also, like, I want to reach them at a younger age so they know they're exposed to these things, especially being in Appalachia. We don't have the same experiences that, you know, other kids in other areas and bigger cities do. And my big emphasis is to get girls into STEM, get them interested, and also just expose our students here because they're completely capable. But get the technology in the hands of the kids and let them learn and do awesome things with it. So um, like I think it would be fun to like fly drones around but you would still be helping people do like everything. Like you would help people do stuff while ha having fun. This whole curriculum that I've been doing with the students has impacted the community. Last year my students, all the students that you saw today, they were, they helped with the uh, ABC America's Best Communities competition. Uh, the students actually helped make, uh, they took some of the drone footage that was used in the, the final presentation with Huntington winning. We've been using all of the technology that we have and try to get it out into the community. You give them the opportunity to do that stuff, they really take charge and they do a great job.